Alright, welcome everyone to Marvel Man's Game Room, and today we're going to be taking a look at the official prequel to the Arkham Trilogy finale, Batman Arkham Knight, Issue 3, Comic Book. Let's just take a look at the back, because it doesn't really have anything interesting on it. But let's crack this boy open and start reading. Alrighty. Gotham Stone Ridge Penitentiary. Gotham City. I'm telling you, the knight's got no punch, punch in this very not this year. Now with Purden's elbow problems. Yeah, well, who won our fantasy league the last two years? One hint, he's standing right here, and it wasn't you. Yeah, well, ask the owner of the damn team. I mean, since we got him right here. <laughs> so, Mr. Owner Man, you gonna talk to your manager and some of your players to stop making suggestions over the next few days? Yeah, suggestions, right? These suggestions will be coming from us and to what nights your team is gonna win games and lose games, understand? Yeah, otherwise your family's gonna have to hit the showers earlier than expected. <sighs> but Batman? Don't you wish. <sighs> We're not finished here. Please! I'm sure the people in that trunk said the same thing. No, come on, man. We was just gonna get some cash out of him trying to impress Harley. You don't need to... The Joker. You love to dress like him and talk like him. So I've decided to help put some of his world words in your mouth. This record of Joker's last left behind was said sad and pathetic. It's a running scorecard of all his victims. That I'm sure he found impressive. <clears throat> However, I see this list of names for what it is. One last sad grasp at relevance by bringing pain to innocence. Like so many in Gotham, you follow blindly down the path of fools, clowns, and performers, burning bright for a moment. And then, never to be thought of again. Tim, tell Alfred I'll be right down. I told him that ten minutes ago, Bruce. Burrito me. Glad I could come over and help with the press. Prestation seems like Batman just got back about 30 minutes ago. He did. <clears throat> I'm still looking everywhere for Quinn. This Gotham project is important for the city, though. So I want to be there. Thanks again for the help. I would owe you a dinner. How about Sh Shanti Malsa? Sure. Copy of your speech is on the seat, sir. Nothing scarier than talking to public. I hate it. No surprise, billionaire playboys are cowardly lots, sir. But I will say that it's wonderful to see that while Batman was up late, Bruce Wayne still can still be. A morning person. So while it was on this spot several weeks ago that our city's nightmare started, it was also on this spot that the dream of Gotham will begin to take shape. Over the past few weeks, my foundation 
has been working with some of the city's best and brightest to prepare for the new, this new project. Even visitors like Simon Stagg, who have no direct ties to the city, have risen to the occasion, eager to help us prepare for this difficult but necessary journey. In the end, I have discovered from our recent collective ordeal that it's long present pastime for those of us who have most benefited from Gotham's spirit and history to push back against the Dark Knights. It's time to let Gotham City have its much deserved time in the sun. We want Gotham renovated. We need Gotham reinvigorated. We will see Gotham reborn. Like the raha at the end there, Wayne. Let's hope we all see healthy returns on your substantial investments. By the way, you've met my daughter, Sapphire. Haven't you? My best creation of all. She's single too. She's single too. <laughs> yes, that's... I apologize for my father's forwardness, Mr. Wayne. No worries. It was, was nice seeing... Bruce, a moment, please, to discuss the bond issue. You're a prince, Lucius. Staggs introdu introduced me to his daughter a half dozen times. It's creepy. Someone's here to see you. Commissioner, how have you been? I haven't seen you in weeks. Been busy. The Joker's left a hell of a lot of headaches in his wig. I have to get back to work. I just wanted to say you gave a damn good speech. But my experience is that speeches about rebuilding Gotham are, are about as rare as hot air on a summer's day. Officer Cash tells me you have some big plans, but we've had big plans thrown at our feet before. I just hope that despite all your words, you're a man of action, Wayne. Good day. I want you to meet with Gordon and find out what the police need. Work it out with the mayor's office through some sort of municipal trust. You're the boss. But with the way the department's been decimated, it won't be cheap. Get him whatever he requests. Damn it, broad daylight? Shut up and get down, Lucius. Cash, get the duped you mayor out of here. Gorn's up on that platform. Get out of here, Wayne. And I'll cover... Ugh, commissioner. Well, well, well. Bruce Wayne himself, Gotham's man of the hour. Looks like we caught the prize pig right out the, of the gate. So, Mr. Money, how much you think you and your rich pals pay me to let you go? Nothing. I kind of doubt that, but if that's true... You got five seconds to give me a real good reason not to blow your brains out. One, two, five. <clears throat> Don't know why you're wasting your time with him, but yeah, got ten minutes, father. Angus Deli. Angus Deli. Qua talius passata mundi misura nubis. Ingus deli dana nubis pesem. <sighs> Wayne, what the hell are you? You rich guys all think. 
doing CrossFit twice a week makes you hey. Ugh. I'll be damned. Those were lucky shots. I'm really out of my element. Get your man to your car, Wayne. GCBD will handle what's back there. Good thinking. You know what I need. It's in the trunk. I'm going to grab it and I want you to take the car and get out. No! Stag! Always wanted to see if you rich guys really have blue blood. Simon, run. That's two IOU, Bruce. Just get out of here. I'll be right behind you. Looks like Moneybags here thinks being loaded makes you a hero. I'm no hero, but I know being a violent and an immoral thug makes you a psychopath. But let me show you some tricks that money can't buy. Look out, Lucius. Incoming. Pardon me. Nice. It's called diverting attention. Anyway, from battling Bruce and showing anyone taking phone pics that all Gothamites are ready to play rough when need be. Always three steps ahead. That's why you make the big bucks. Feel free to make them bigger anytime. Going to be odd seeing you in action while the sun's out. Text Alfred on a secure connection with Batmobile down. Tell him I need a vehicle ASP, ASAP, just in case. It's Fox. BW needs special vehicle. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's Holly. It, I, Holly, who? I hardly know ya. But I like you already. <laughs> Look who finally made it to the f fiesta. Batty himself. Unfortunately for you, I always leave parties early. And I don't feel safe driving a motorcycle with a passenger. Throws my balance off. Oh, Pangy, my little oval diamond di dynamo. I got you something. I know, it's all over the news how you failed to take out Wang. Don't be so sore. You know it's well as I do that taking Wayne out has never been never the real plan. Now with all those rich guys and gals crawling all over the place. I'm a big picture type of girl, gal. So I snatched up Wayne's number two guy's tablet. And if we work fast, you and your techo brainiacs can find a way straight into Wayne's computers. And find out exactly how he's planning on taking over our city. This specific device is protected by index fingerprint security. I can only be accessed by whomever has that print. Oh, cobbles. When, you, when are the men in my life going to stop underestimating me? We have spent days investigating and have been told many things about your toy store, Mr. Chin. We have been informed by our enemies that it holds secrets in sight, secrets of interest to Penguin. My brother is correct, though. He leaves out one important point. The Abramovich brothers hate secrets. 
And secrets, as we all know, don't like the light. Near the back, brother. That is what I was told. Here then, this mystery is solved right behind this mirror. Allow me to do the honors, but of course. Ah, we are great detectives, are we not? And so one's mystery ends, brother. Yes, and another begins. Gotham City, St. Ing Ignatius Hospital. We have the network closed off within 27 seconds. The tablet has protocols in place. If I don't log in every 15 minutes, it wipes itself clean. So by now, Harley Quinn and her freak Brigade break are just holding onto a 2,000 hunk of plastic and metal. That's good, but I was asking about. I'm fine, just don't ask me to do too much typing. The doctor is going to be back any minute. Take the day off tomorrow. Not a chance. Oracle, are you there? Yes, still tracking that tablet you asked about, Batman. You any worse for wear after Harley's attack? I'm concerned. It was so brazen. Quinn's always been connected to the hip to Joker. With him out the picture, I'm not sure what she wants or who might be helping her get it. Wayne's save Gotham. Speech was an odd event to hit with no clear financial gain. The goal was stocking fear, stoking fear. Every attack is another way of killing what little hope Gotham has left for creating a better future. I can't wrap my head around why so many of these creeps hate the city so much. I've never believed it's the city in particular. It's the people in it. Lunatics like the Joker, Clayface, Bane. They don't understand why they can't crush us. They don't understand why the people here refuse to be intimidated. Why anyone would ever stand up to them. The freaks don't understand, and it drives them crazy. You sound like you're running for office. Hardly. But the city needs someone to lead it into the future. And sure as hell not another opportunistic deadbeat like Sharp. Well, one person comes to mind. Great minds think alike. But he's already got a very important job. Everyone's replaceable. Work on him and keep me updated on tracking the tablet. Batman out. Chinatown. We have found the Scarecrow's hideout, brother. The Penguin will be happy. And more importantly, the Abramovich name will once again be on the lips of millions. Just as it was when we were stars with the circus. We can sh shove Father's predictions of our failure back down his throat. But we must find the Straw Doctor. And show him what fear looks like. Sons, huh? two have children, each trying to equal one son. Father, no. All we have ever done is try to please you. I should have drowned you in the wash. Basin, the moment your disgusting body squirmed from your mother's womb. But it is time I made up for my mistake. You will know death by my hand, cruel and slow. You will know fear. And no one will care that you ever lived. 
Penguin needs to be careful what he's looking for. Because he may just find it. Don't let him see your fear, Robin. Only thing I'm afraid of, Coach, is your constant babbling. I swear, I gotta be the only person on Earth who wishes Batman would talk less. Then don't make rookie mistakes like the one you're about. Would you please shut up? See? My workouts are always more relaxing when you don't come home too early. I can certainly see why you don't want me seeing this. You need to fight smarter. The simulator is never going to be able to completely re represent the in unpredictability of someone like Deadshot. Hey, Alfred. Can you do me a big favor and drive Bruce into the city and let him talk someone else's else to death? Not when he's teaching you something so empirically true, Master Tim. I am, and I am not a taxi service waiting with bated breath to drive you both to your extracurricular activities. The vehicle needs care and attention that I am afraid we are not able to give it. He's right, Bruce. The car's a mess. Way worse than anything we can deal with here in the cave. Lucius has already reached out to our friend in Germany. I can time the trip with the Central European Future Tech Expo and take Fox with me. He needs a vacation. And I'm getting in as much bat-free simulator time as possible. Good to hear. You need as many hours in here as you can get, rookie. Killer Croc, uploaded to simulator. Clayface, up uploaded to simulator. Bane, uploaded to simulator. Joker, load, delete. Joker program, erased from simulator. Okay, Tim, pay attention. Gotham Stone Ridge Penitentiary. I feel thunder race through my blood. I can taste the lightning on my skin. The venom you have found nourishing me. Your dedication to devotion to me will be rewarded handsomely. Remember that I have taught you, taught you. there are two paths in this world. The path of death and the path of Bane. All right, so that is all for number three. So if you enjoy this and want to see me continue this series, like, comment, and subscribe. I look at all comments, and I will catch you all next time on Marble Man's Game Room. Peace out.